I apologize in advance, uh, and I'm, I'm very thankful for the amplification, but my voice is hoarse because hopefully, like many of you, I spent most of yesterday afternoon cheering for the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> and that would cover obviously most of the things that, that are, are, are important to you, I would just add on these things. Uh, Mr. Armeo mentioned before the importance of lowering costs, so I would submit to you that in business, no matter how much money we throw at business, those things that are of concern to you in business are, in my view, these. One, workman's compensation. Two, what you pay for health insurance. And three, what you pay for energy. It appears to me that no matter how much money we throw at business, none of those things, none of the businesses will significantly improve, nor will the area improve, until those three areas are attacked by business, hopefully in partnership with government. With that in mind, I would suggest that one of the things that, that we consider is that this group uh, begin looking at those three areas if they're in agreement with me and taking each one of those areas. So you would take, for example, some people in the, in the business group would look at what work was come. Somebody else in the business group would look at health insurance and other people. Another group would look at how we pay for energy. If those things can be attacked and, and, and your, your overhead costs can be reduced, you're going to make more money. And when you make more money, everybody's going to be happy. I think our role in government is this. We have, to some extent, failed in the sense that, really, in my view, uh, and to be, to be clear, I'm the county representative from the town of Oneonta, and this is my third term. Uh, to my knowledge, there isn't as clear of a uh, overall comprehensive plan as I, as I would like to see. And I'm optimistic with, with what Kathy said before, and in cooperation with Carol Lewis and some others, that we'll have something that we'll have an actual blueprint that we can follow so that we can point to it with some pride. But that said, uh, our responsibility would be for the comprehensive plan and, uh, and also our responsibility to have that dialogue with Albany. I mean, we're looked at in county government as just being the arm of the state, which means we have to take uh, a portion of a $123 million budget and make certain that all of these social services that are so important in this area are, are implemented. It leaves us with little money to do those things that are not mandated. We know it to be true, to, but we know it to be true is that people want these roads clear and they want safety control people on them or road control people on them. We don't have that much money to do other things. Uh, but I'm optimistic with, 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 with a comprehensive plan uh, and with the energy that we have on this uh, board currently that will be able to address those things. So uh, in brief, let me just say that I think those three things are important that we have to attack uh, for business people. Again, workman's comp, and again, uh, what you pay for energy and what you pay for health insurance. And our responsibility uh, will be to uh, develop a comprehensive plan that we can point to with some direction and pride, and we will also then try to maintain a dialogue of significance with all night, uh, because uh, I, I get annoyed, quite frankly, and, and I, I think the common denominator here is that we all get annoyed when we are dictated by all as to what to do and what our limitations are. And I, and I get a little annoyed when, when some of our representatives kind of hide behind uh, those things that they have to do there. I understand government to some extent because there are things we have to do as well. But I think it's a responsibility on their part, their part to remove some of those mandates they put on us. And once those things are taken care of, I believe that business will in fact improve in Oswego County. Thank you. <laughs>